Hi there, I just wanted to do a quick video explaining how to zip your files for assignment 5. This is very easy, although if you try it on the computers in lab, there may be problems that you run into on your iDrive. You can see I have my iDrive open and I have a CP102 folder and I've put all my files in an A5 folder. So here are the files that I have and of course one of them should be renamed to be A5 underscore your username underscore index.html. So these three files, and there's a picture here and two HTML files, this thumbs.db file is not part of my assignment so I will not zip it. All of the files need to be selected and you can right click and choose send to compressed folder if you're on a Windows machine and if you're in the computer lab you will get this error message. You can also in the computer lab select all the files, right click and choose 7-zip and choose add to a5.zip but that will also cause an error message that does not work. So here's the solution. If you were doing this on your computer at home that would be fine. What I'll do if I'm in lab is I'll simply go back to my CP102 folder, copy the assignment 5 folder, paste it to the desktop, and now that it's on the desktop, I can open the folder up again. Here are the three files that I need to uh, select. Right click, choose send to, compressed or zipped folder, and it makes a file called computercouple.zip, or it'll actually be the name of one of the first files in your selection. Just call it A5 with your username. and that zip file is the what you submit to my learning space in the Dropbox. However, if I look at the pictures here on this website, you can see that my picture shows up without any problems. If I double click my zip file and I see the files inside and I look inside and there is no image on this page. That's fine. It's because, look at this location. This is a weird temporary internet f location, which is my HTML2 page, which yours will have a different name, Does appears in. This is the folder it's currently sitting in. It's only a temporary folder. This page is sitting on my desktop. That's a different location. And the images that I have are actually still sitting on my desktop. They are not inside the same temporary location. So that's why if I open the index I cannot see the picture because the picture is on a different location. So when you double click the files in your zip file you won't be able to see any pages but you, if you see all three of them inside your zip file or all five of your uh, files that are required or I can't remember at the moment how many are required, it's been a long day, then you simply you will submit that zip file to my learning space. All three files, or so you have uh, the blog.html file, so it'll look something like this, and you'll of course have a web page there, and you might have a couple more images. So you simply select all of them and send them to zip files. If you've only got one zip file zipped, then you can take another file and just drop it into your zip file and that should work. So now I can open my zip file. Oh, that didn't quite work. Might work with compressed folders. Doesn't work with 7-zip. Yes, add to the archive. And there you go. You can download a program called 7-zip from the internet or you can use it in the computer labs or you can just use send to and compressed folder. On a Mac you can simply do the exact same thing drop your assignment 5 folder on your desktop and then go into the files select them all and you can right click and choose archive I believe but if you don't know how to make zip files on your Mac then you'll need to look up those instructions.